Hello, welcome to the next episode of the series. I was trying to update the Unreal Engine and the Wise to the newest and the latest version of this. The the first version of the project was at 5.0 Unreal Engine and Wise 2021, but since then, a lot of code changed. A lot of the the engine iterated itself with the Epic. So I recently bumped the project to the latest and I'll show what has changed in code and how to bump in your project unless you get the latest in the GitHub. So as I demonstrate there, it, it still makes the right sounds in the world, but Audio Kinetic decided to deprecate a couple things, which one of them is my favorite, the execute action on id was previously in uak gameplay statics but it's no more in there instead now we can use sound engine directly and you might ask how this is just a, a code snippet there but there's something you have to do before building the project otherwise it's not gonna build at all let me close the build first, then go to the build of the project. Previously, we only add AK Audio in the public dependencies. Now we have to add Y Sound Engine 2, and that's basically it. Then, uh, wherever we use execute action on playing ID, is deprecated and kind of moved to Y Sound Engine API. This is what we reached by the, sorry, where is this? The Sound Engine, I W Y Sound Engine API get. It returns us the Sound Engine API and the Sound Engine API has the functionalities in there, including my favorite, execute action on event or playing id i guess playing id is there too yeah start playing id execute action on playing id but there is significant change in between uak gameplay statics and sound engine you should think about like this uak gameplay statics uses unreal engine to control sound engine but the sound engine itself doesn't really care which uh, which game engine you're using then purely works with wise or the wise constants wines parameters or the classes okay let's let's focus on how to convert uak gameplay statics execute action on playing id to continue using execute action on playing id with sound engine instead of uak gameplay statics there are two ways of doing this we can continue UAK gameplay statics and post event and create an event that stops the playing thing how we can do that we can just go to the events there's like a where is this so yeah this is play firebase what you can do you can just create another one like another event and call it firebase stop and basically you can get, oops, seems you can get it like that. The idea is just getting the fire base. Yeah. So the idea is this one plays and this one stops. So post event doesn't mean play event. So this post event posts Firebase and this plays Firebase and this one stops Firebase. So one thing we can do instead of this, we can just we have a gameplay settings, post event, instead of ice skill, ice skill stop. That's one thing. Another thing, instead of UK gameplay statics, we can go to reach the sound engine. So the sound engine still allows us to execute action on playing ID. 
and it's very very much the same as the UK gameplay play guide you well so this one but the challenge there if you want to use sound engine and post event by that you have to get the audio kinetic elements of the unreal uh, counterparts let's walk with that one i had to add a couple things in the wizard character the class so let's jump on the post event function first oh yeah also there are multiple apis in the back end so if it's a null api nothing happens if it's 2022 or 2023 they're very identical so this one gets ak game object id ak unit id is events id it's very easy to get there are also u flags the rest is same as the uk gameplay statics the only thing bothering is how to get game object id from a class or actor so first thing first it has to have a game object uak game object in case if there is not none you can just create one and you can create a function to get that game object from that class and in the code side of visit character whenever we try to get the ak game object if that game object is no you can create a game object of by the new object uak game object point function then this part is important after you creating the game object you have to register this game object to sound engine so after getting the initialization of the game object you can return this game object to wherever you need for this instance we want to use that for footsteps playing footsteps with using sound engine api directly instead of uak gameplay settings so we already created m footsteps event as a uak audio event it is fine i uh, just get this uak game object by getting the opening actor casting the wizard character then get ak game object which is this function that returning me to game object then Previously, we could just send in UAK gameplay statics to M footsteps event as UAK event, but in here we need to get is short ID, which is you can just get a uh, with the function. And after getting the UAK game object, you can cast it to get AK game object ID, which is coming from AK game object class, so it's in wise. Uh, classes you have you don't have to worry about that then that's it that's it you you should also check if the sound engine api is there all the time let's repeat one more time uk gameplay statics don't doesn't have execute action on playing id anymore if you want to stick with execute action on playing id you should use sound engine as i showed in i guess there yeah this line looks well does well sound engine only uses the wise scope uik gameplay statics use unreal scope there's another thing and yeah i guess that wraps the upgrade path of the project that the village project i've been uh, demonstrating my tutorials if you have any other issues with the project or require some help you can just ping me in linkedin i'm, I'm a very open person you can reach me anytime you can send me a mail or something and i guess that's it thanks for joining and have a nice day